You're considering to purchase the Sony FX30, but it's not full frame and your footage could easily be noisy. In this video, I'm gonna find out if the video editing software DaVinci Resolve can save my noisy footage or if I should actually consider going back to full frame. We have here the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, which allows us to use the noise reducing tools. And with it, we will apply the noise reducer to different clips to see just how much we can get away with. By the way, Thank you, El Colette, for submitting this question. For our first example, we have my typical A-roll setup with the Sony FX30 with the Tokina 11-18mm f2.8. No surprise here, we got noise and color aberrations in the left back corner. So by using these settings, our footage can look like this. Here's the before and after. Here's a close-up of that. Next up, we have a clip of my wife playing piano. I shot this on the Sony FX30 with the 18-105mm f4. Much of the noise is in the back room, but also some of it on her coat. And here's the before and after applying these noise reduction, then the close up. Here we have a clip of a Christian evangelist, and I shot this on the Sony FX30 with the Tamron 70 to 180 millimeter f2.8. Much of the noise here is on his suit jacket. Here's the before and after applying noise reduction, then here's the close up. Although the Sony A7S III and the FX3 are full frame low light beasts, you can be confident that the FX30 is still in good hands, or at least good in your hands, especially when editing with DaVinci Resolve. You just need to shell for the one-time payment of $295 for the noise reduction tool used in this video, which is still cheaper than any full-frame alternatives to this camera anyway. If you're looking for any more Sony FX30 content, I'll see you over here.